Hi everyone, I'm Dana Ponsky, your guide to college, and welcome to Being Jewish in College's new video series, Kibbutz in 10 Minutes. Today, you're gonna to get 10 minutes of really valuable information from Rabbi Naftali Brower, Executive Director of Tufts Hillel. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. It's okay. great to be here. Okay. So like I do with everyone, I'm just gonna kick off. Can you give us the name, if there's an official name, of the Jewish Center on campus? Sure, we're the Granoff Family Hillel Center at Tufts University. Wonderful. And can you tell us how many Jewish students are there at Tufts University? And in particular, what would be the breakdown amongst secular, reform, conservative, orthodox, humanist, reconstructionist, and any other identifier that a Jewish student might uh, take on these days? Sure. So, so the only caveat is that all we have are data from students who choose to identify as Jewish. Um, and there's always going to be more on campus who don't choose at least in the first instance to identify as such. But the information that we have tracks close to about 20% of the undergraduate body, right? So the undergraduate body is about 6,000 students and sometimes it's 18, 19, 20% of that is Jewish. Quite a lot of Jewish students, okay. over a thousand Jewish students. Um, in terms of the breakdown, that's hard as well because we don't really ask folks to identify their denomination. And one of the things we can circle back to this that I find really exciting about this work is that a lot of students leave denominational, um, you know, denominational frameworks behind and they're on a, on a journey of discovery. But I would say it's like concentric circles. So our widest circle would be secular, probably. Um, reform is quite large. Conservative is smaller. Conservadox, orthodox, smaller than that. Okay, wonderful. Um, are there kosher food options available to students on campus? I'm so glad you asked that. No, there are, absolutely. So. Um, Tufts Hillel has a fully kosher kitchen and a beautiful dining room, and we use that for Shabbat, festivals, uh, special events. Uh, on top of that, there is a kosher deli under the supervision of the VOD of New England. It's called Pax at Locks, um, which is a play on Tufts' motto. Um, it's a great kosher deli. It's situated right near the, the student center. and during term, there are just lines of students outside. It's popular with all students of all faiths. We are just on the cusp of getting a kosher supervised uh, vegan counter integrated into one of the dining halls. So that would mean separate dishes and, and all of that. And then we are in the early stages of talking about a fuller integrated Jewish kitchen uh, as part of Tufts Dining. So, Wonderful. Yeah. Um, you mentioned very briefly, but can you talk about the weekly Shabbat dinners or gathering opportunities that you have for students? Uh, gathering opportunities, I mean, it's all week. We are open from, you know, 10 to 11 at night, 10 in the morning to 11 at night. I mean, we are open all the time. And uh, in a normal non-COVID year, the place is teeming with students. Even during COVID, we've been one of the few centers that remained open with social distancing. But the real, the real buzz is Friday night. So Friday night students come for candle lighting. Um, we might talk about this a little bit later. I don't wanna preempt your questions, but we have multiple services. We have students who come and they just schmooze on the couch and don't participate in the services. And then we all join for dinner and post dinner, there are board games upstairs and students hang around. So it's, it's it's a really, really exciting place to be on Friday night. Wonderful. Um, in terms of the academic programs on campus, are there any Jewish studies majors or minors or Hebrew language courses that students are able to participate in or that are available to them? Yeah, so there's, um, there's a Judaic studies program. Uh, students can take a, a Judaic studies minor. There's Hebrew language, there's Bible, there is Talmud, um, Jewish mysticism, Kabbalah, which I teach as well. This is my great passion. Um, and then Tufts just hired um, a new faculty member, uh, a young professor um, with an expertise in modern Judaism. So that was like a gap that we were uh, missing. And I'm really excited about the offerings that this professor is going to bring. Wonderful. Um, 
Just in terms of the actual political or social climate on campus, how does the university handle or have there been any issues revolving BDS or anti-Semitism or anti-Zionist and how has the university responded to any issues that may have, um, have come up? Um, yeah, so unfortunately, Tufts is no different to many other universities and universities are microcosms of society at large. Uh, so there are going to be strident anti-Israel voices on campus. I won't deny that. Um, in terms of volume, it can be very loud. Uh, in terms of the numbers, uh, they're quite small. I think the vast majority of students um, go about their business, but it's the small, very vocal, strident voices that get a lot of attention. The university administration are very, very aware of the lines uh, that can sometimes get crossed between uh, legitimate criticism of Israel and anti-Semitism. Uh, those lines are hard to define, but simply put, the university is very aware uh, of growing anti-Semitism in the country, and they're 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 very important partners. But we have a lot of work to do. Right. Okay. Um, and if there are there any challenges that a Jewish student might face coming onto campus, maybe either just in general or just in terms of any other aspects of the universe that are very particular to the university? I can't think of anything that's very particular to the university. Um, but I think, as I've just mentioned, I think it's this anti-Israel, uh, sometimes anti-Semitism, I'm not going to deny it. Um, that can be very challenging. And I think it depends, you know, if you come from a cocooned Jewish background, it can be very shocking to the system. So I think it's calibrating, knowing that we at Hill are here to support all our students um, and that we, no student should feel vulnerable. But I think that some, some sense of awareness that when you come to university, you're gonna hear opinions that are gonna be very disturbing to you. And that's okay, uh, as long as one learns how to, how to deal with them. Um, that's life, it's everywhere. So in terms of, maybe in terms of students coming onto campus and trying to integrate into the Jewish community, what is your most popular or well-attended program or programs that you put on during the year to help students feel connected to the campus and to the Jewish life experience? Oh man. Where do I begin? Um, well, bagel brunch for a starter. So if you were like a bird looking down, the first Sunday, you know, during orientation, we have literally lines of students snaking across campus and trying to get into Hillel, where we have hundreds and hundreds of students. We uh, feed them thousands of bagels. We have all of the a cappella groups perform. It's like just this great celebration of student life centered at Hillel, the center of Jewish life on campus. That's really exciting. We run very important social justice programs throughout the year. One of the really big ones is Read by the River. It's a literary festival for uh, kids in Medford, Mass, which is part of where the university is located. Uh, we take the largest stadium on campus. It's filled with hundreds of families. Uh, we have dozens of student volunteers. Uh, the mayor often comes, the fire department. It's just a huge festival of literature and reading for kids that we put on. And then Friday nights. I mean, Friday nights, as I said before, were really exciting. That's just the top three for me personally. Wonderful. Wonderful. So what is one interesting piece of information about the university that you would love for people to know? Our mascot <laughs> is the elephant. <laughs> Jumbo the elephant is the university's mascot. And elephants are very wise and, um, and noble animals. Um, so that's one piece of information you should certainly be aware of um, because there's a lot of elephant symbolism. And I think the other really important piece is how deeply um, and successfully um, Hillel is integrated into the wider university. We are our own separate charity. Um, but but we are really aligned with the university in many, many ways. So we're, we don't sit apart. We're very integrated to the university. And the questions we ask ourselves all the time is, how are we welcoming to tough students? We don't even define Jewish 
or non-Jewish. Our output is Jewish. Our values are Jewish. We are unashamedly, proudly Jewish, but we're there for all students. And, and so the question that we always ask is, how do we add value to the university at large? Um, and then I think the other really important thing is that this I mentioned earlier, this commitment to social justice, um, which is very important on campus. This is a campus in which that really matters. And Tufts Hillel really leads in this regard. Um, we send an annual trip to Rwanda. Um, we uh, run a whole series of programs around uh, citizenship, uh, social justice, genocide, uh, the program on literacy that I mentioned before. Uh, so we're really, really um, leading in that regard. Wonderful. And my final question is, what do you love most about leading the Jewish community at Tufts University? Well, I love the students. You know. One never wants to generalize, um, but, I, but I think if one is going to generalize, a tough student is someone who is obviously bright, um, but, but there's a lot of heart. There isn't just mind. So they're very sensitive. They care very deeply. Um, and some of the, the most joyful moments I've had are not in these great big programs with hundreds of students. Those are exciting on one level, but it's those, those deep conversations, those connections that I've felt with students. Um, and we are um, student-led, staff-supported. That's one of our very, very deepest values. Um, so our job as staff is to raise students' voices up and to enable them to lead. And in watching our students lead, I just learn so much. So um, I love it. It's a, it's a great job. Wonderful. Well, that's the end of my question. So thank you very, very much for participating and sharing more about Tufts and the Jewish life experience. And we will provide families the opportunity to be able to connect with, uh, your, uh, with you and your office to be if they have any more questions. But thank you again for participating. We really appreciate it. Thank you.